The FS10 series flow monitor with updated firmware version 4.10 has an enhanced quick setup mode. There are now two convenient and simple field modes to access with just a few presses of the button to one, capture a trip point and assume a default zero and span setting, or two, capture the zero and span setting and assume the default trip point. In either case, entering with the minus or plus button selects the sensor excitation setting, that is low power or high power respectively, and exiting the minus or plus button selects the failsafe, either low, minus button, or high, the plus button. In addition, upon exiting, user may decrement or increment the trip point in 5% steps as a final adjustment. Note, if your FS10 was supplied with a silicon boot, you may find it easier to access the buttons using the blunt tip of a plastic pen or the eraser side of a pencil. Another option would be to simply slide off the protective boot during setup and slide it back on when completed. Demonstration for Mode A, Capturing an Alarm Set Point. Assume a low flow alarm in a typical line, so we will use the plus button for higher heater excitation level. Press and hold the plus button for at least six seconds to enter into the set point capture mode. The LED pattern will change to alternating LEDs flashing, indicating the unit is in the capture ready mode. Throttle the flow to the desired alarm set point, or if not possible, adjust the flow as close as possible to the desired set point. In liquid applications, make sure the line is full, even if not flowing. Let the system stabilize at least 30 seconds. Now momentarily, press the minus button to exit with a failsafe low, that is relay is de-energized in the alarm state, or the plus button for failsafe high, that is relay de-energized above the set point. The operator has five seconds to adjust the set point in 5% increments, either up or down the scale, using the buttons. After five seconds, the LEDs will signal an acknowledgement that the settings were valid and assume normal operation. The flashing LED indicates the alarm set point. It flashes quickly when in the alarm state and slowly under normal conditions. It is a quick way of verifying the failsafe is set as intended. Demonstration for mode B, capturing the zero and full scale or range. Assume a low flow alarm in a small tube, so we will use the minus button for lower heater excitation setting. Press and hold the minus button for at least 10 seconds to enter into this range setting mode. Keep pressing through the capture set point LED pattern. A unique LED pattern will emerge. The first and last three LED sequence indicates entry into this range capture mode. Note, as soon as this mode is entered, the device immediately begins to remember the absolute lowest and highest flow it sees. Therefore, in the case of gas, it is recommended the flow be set at the full scale value desired before entering the mode. Then slowly reduce the flow until the zero flow is reached. Setting the low flow down to around 10% will yield more linear results over the entire range as this zero offset removes a steep portion of the curve. In the case of liquids, it is strongly recommended the line be full with no flow before entering into this range capture mode. Then slowly throttle the valve to full scale. When applied to liquids, it is not uncommon to saturate the signal before reaching the desired high flow. However, the FS10 will perform as expected over the usable range set by this process. Momentarily press the minus button to exit with a failsafe low, that is, relay de-energized in the alarm state, or the plus button for failsafe high, that is, relay de-energized above the trip point. The default alarm setting in this mode is 30% of the range. However, operator has five seconds to adjust the trip point in 5% increments, either up or down using the buttons.
After five seconds, the LEDs will signal an acknowledgement that the settings were valid and assume normal operation with the new zero and full scale in place.